Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Welcome to our flagship store, Easy Blade Barbers & Co. Today we're going to show you guys how to shave your own face using a straight razor. Let's get into it. All right guys, pretty excited to shave my face today. I usually keep the beard going, but today I'm taking it all off. What we're using today is the Easy Blade Royal Shave Kit. And what the Royal Shave Kit comes with is our classic shave gel. It comes with a shave cream, aftershave lotion, aftershave tonic, and it also comes with a shave oil. You also get the straight razor of your choice. Today we'll be using the wood handle straight razor and we'll also be using our Easy Blade Double Edge Straight Razors. When it comes to shaving, guys, it's all about preparation. So the first thing we're gonna be working on today, guys, is preparation. We're gonna prep the face, get the face nice and soft and ready to shave. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a hot towel to our face. And what the hot towel is gonna do is gonna open the pores, soften your skin, soften up your hair, soften up those whiskers, and get your hair and your face ready for a shave. A lot of times in the winter time when it's cold outside, if you're in a cold climate, your face is so tight, you need to loosen that up, warm it up, and you know, just get it ready for the shave. You can also do this if you come fresh out the shower, you could do the same process without the hot towel. But what we're gonna do today is apply the hot towel. Okay, after the hot towel, you're gonna notice your face and your hair is a lot softer and a lot more relaxed. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the shave oil. We're gonna grab our shave oil, we're gonna give ourselves two pumps of the shave oil and apply it all over the face, rubbing it, rubbing it in circular motions. And we wanna make sure that we get that under the hair. We're gonna rub that in there. Preparation is key, guys. Rub the shave oil in like this, circular motions lifting the hair even on the neck lift the hair up what we want to do is we want to lubricate the beard and the skin for a smooth shave okay so our next step is to apply a shaving cream we're just going to take a fingertip of the easy blade shaving cream and we're going to rub it all over the face and then we're going to apply another hot towel to soften it up just a little more before we put our straight razor on the face. So here you go guys, I got about that much. I'm gonna go ahead, rub it in my hands in circular motions, and apply it on the face. And as you can see, the Easy Blade Brushless Shaving Cream has a nice strong lather to it. And we're gonna put it all over our face. I'm gonna go ahead and put this hot towel on just to assure that my beard is soft enough for that straight razor. Now let's load the straight razor. Okay guys, the straight razor is locked and loaded. Let's go ahead and start the shave. So it's all about the angle of the straight razor and it's all about stretching your skin. The angle of the straight razor should always be at a 30 degree angle. Don't hold the straight razor like this, you're gonna cut yourself and don't hold the straight razor too flat, you're not gonna do anything and you probably will cut yourself as well. So you wanna make sure that it's at a 30. Just tilt your, put your razor against your face, tilt it to the side a little bit and that should be your angle. From this angle right here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my straight razor like this. I'm gonna grab, put one finger on top and I'm gonna hold the straight razor like this and I'm gonna pull my skin up and I'm gonna shave down to take off that hair. Press down on your face, push all the way up as hard as you can. You wanna make sure that skin is nice and stretched. As you see that part is gone, you wanna go right where that part is at, pull up, same thing. And as you get lower, same thing, go where that part is at. Pull up and shave it off. As you guys can see, we have the first section. Same thing over here. You wanna go pull up on your skin as hard as you can. Pick the part of your sideburn you wanna shave.
pull up, pull up, stretch the skin as much as you could, shave it off. Now I'm going to hold my blade like I'm supposed to. I'm going to put my three fingers on top, one pinky finger on the side right here, right on this piece, and I'm going to go ahead and hold my, turn my blade around like this, turn my blade around like this, hold it at a 30, pull my skin as much as I can, and I'm going to shave this way. Now you guys can see if you had a gold tee, this would be perfect. You would have the gold tee and you'll be good to go. All right guys, making sure that you're wiping your blade, keep a towel down so you can wipe your blade off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move to this side of the face. Same rules apply. We're gonna hold our straight razor the correct way, pull up on the skin, and we're just gonna come down like that. We're gonna look through the corner of our eye and we're just gonna come down like this take the hair off, wiping our blade off, taking the hair off the face, okay? And the same thing we did on this side, how we angle the blade this way and cut, we're gonna go ahead, turn our hand upside down, put our hand behind our head, pull the skin as hard as we can, and we're gonna go ahead and take the hair off the face with sort of like a backhand stroke. And as we get further down, we're going to reach our hand a lot more over, pull the skin more, and continue to shave. Now this would be perfect if you had a gold tee. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the lower neck. We want to turn our razor upside down like this. We're going to pick our head up, pull our skin down. start to shave up. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna grab our blade like that. Push your head up, stretch the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hair that's been there, pull my skin, and go straight across. Now, if you're taking long like me, for video purposes, I'm taking a lot longer. If you're taking long because you're just learning, grab a hot towel, put it back on your face. moisturize your face again because what happens is it'll dry up if you're taking pretty long if you're going fast it's pretty much not going to dry up so i have to put some more cream on there so i can take off the mustache and the goatee but i did want to include in the video the goatee for people out there who just want to shave their neck and their beard all right so let's go ahead and nail this goatee so we're going to go ahead stretch our skin and go straight across guys Cross the chin, reaching our hand back over some more, and go into the middle. All right, you guys can see. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go across this way now. Stretch the skin. Same thing for the bottom of your chin, we're going to go up. Come across. Down. Nice and clean.
All right, let's go for that mustache. So we're gonna go ahead, fold our lip, pull on the top of our cheek, and come straight down. Blow up our face. Come straight down. Same thing on this side. Pull up at your nose. Come straight down. Over here, by the by the lip, we're gonna go straight across. Same thing over here on this side. When you're going over your lip, you want to make sure that it's like this. And be careful with your bottom lip. Now for this part, we're going to blow up our lip like this. I get the bottom part. Same thing over here. Same thing right there. And for this bottom part right here, you want to make sure that your razor is tilted. You want to blow up your lip like this. Making sure you're pulling your skin down. The next thing we're going to do is grab the Easy Blade Aftershave Tonic. It acts as an astringent, it tightens the skin. Um, you're going to go ahead and spray that on the face, tighten up that skin. We don't want any dirt, you know, anything going inside of your, your pores right now because your pores are open. You just shaved, the hair has been removed, so your pores are basically open. We want to tighten those pores as fast as we can. After we finish applying our tonic on there, we want to go ahead and apply the Easy Blade Aftershave Lotion. And what that's going to do is heal any cuts, scrapes, or wounds. I kind of scraped myself a little bit right there. Nothing crazy, just a tiny little scrape. You want to take a fingertip of that aftershave. You want to rub it in your hand. And you want to go ahead and apply that to the place that's been shaved. And what that's going to do is help with any cuts, scrapes, or wounds. There's uh, vitamin A, vitamin E in there. Sunflower oil, which is really good for healing the skin. Very good healing property. And there you have it guys, the Easy Blade Royal Shave. Hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Hope you guys learned how to use the straight razor. If you guys need any products, you can go to our website, easybladeshavingproducts.com. Again, I'm Jay from Easy Blade. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon.